Agatha Harkness racist? Spoilers if you aren't up to date with Agatha all along. After the finale, you may have noticed some creators of color, including myself, talk about Agatha and how she disproportionately targeted women of color. I see a lot of people interpret that call out as us trying to say that Agatha is racist. Short answer is no. We don't think that she's racist per se. Agatha represents a type of white feminism that we've been seeing throughout the years. Remember that art, particularly comic book art, serves as allegories for the real world. With Agatha, she is an allegory for white women who seek liberation and power at the expense of everyone else. Throughout history, we have seen white women use the struggle of women of color to propel themselves and gain power. The suffragettes, who entire platform was about women getting the right and power to vote, made sure that they excluded and condemned anyone who associated with black women. Bounding us to not have any right to vote for, I think another 50 years, I have to check in on that date. You also see it now with like affirmative action and diversity initiatives. We see white women as the biggest benefactor of those initiatives. And here's the thing, white women do have struggles. They are suffering from the patriarchy. But there are a group of them like Agatha who uphold the patriarchy to make sure that they get power. And that's what makes the reveal that she was involved with Jennifer's bonding so impactful. Not only was she involved, but she was nonchalant about it. She brushes it off as this was just the times. Agatha is willing to perpetuate the very system that oppressed her for her own personal gain. And we see that with the type of women she specifically targets. Look at these women down here. These are women, I'm assuming, in the 1800s. This woman here is dressed like someone who lived on a plantation. None of them look rich and three out of the four of them are women of color. Agatha is not specifically targeting these women of color but she knows that women who are seeking liberation are more likely to believe in the witch's road and also attack her because they're tired and this is their last desperate attempt to do something. Oh that's sick. So no Agatha may not have internal biases toward women of color. You can bet your bottom fucking dollar that Agatha Agatha is directly responsible for the oppression of women of color. Honestly, that's not even something we have to surmise. We see it with Jen. This woman whose whole motivation is supposed to be around her son is willing to bound a witch whose entire thing was bringing in new children to the world. Even if she wasn't quite sure who the person was when she did bound her, it was clear after that she knew who Jennifer Kale was, she knew she was bound, and she knew about her work. Even though Agatha was still getting all that power, she could couldn't be bothered to give Jennifer hers back. Jennifer had to take it. Just like black women had to do it with the suffragettes. And honestly, I think that's just as egregious as being racist. Whether or not she believes in racism, she is systematically oppressing these women. And it's the indifference that really gets to me. Finally, to all those people who are like, race had nothing to do with it, I need y'all to have several seats. And give the writers credit. These are the same writers who personified generational curses with an Asian woman and who wrote a storyline for a black woman to be bound by a white woman and white men over midwifery. And then made sure to memorialize the women who died with a marked grave. Y'all not hearing me. And that montage that I clipped earlier where we see all of the people that Agatha is targeting, most of them are women of color or women who are part of a liberation act. For women! That is on purpose. That's okay. Like I said before, I like Agatha as a character. I think she's an incredibly written character. But I also understand she's despicable. And I think her capitalizing on the American dream and freedom and using it against disenfranchised women is her most egregious crime. She's the worst type of boy mom. She's a daughter of liberty, but she's also pretty fucking cool. Both things can be true. Thank you for coming to my Sunday TED Talk.